I'm not pretending uh, that the support from City Hall, the debt-free bus, uh, will fill the massive hole left by government incompetence and uh, government policies. Tell me, what's the significance of this cost of living bus? Isn't it more effective to just like put the advice online? Listen, I, I'm really embarrassed that in 2022 I'm having to fund a debt-free uh, bus. So we already fund debt-free advice uh, and other advice centres across London, Citizens Advice Bureau and other law centres across uh, London to give Londoners free advice around welfare benefits, around support available if they're struggling with paying their rent, their mortgage, energy bills, council tax and uh, so forth. But we've recognised actually many people are suffering in silence. So what we're doing now is paying for this bus to go around London over the next three months, at least 35 locations to make it as easy as possible for people to get uh, advice because many Londoners aren't uh, able to use the internet. Uh, they, they don't know about the advice uh, available. And so the idea is to make it as easy as possible to avoid people get into more areas. So what would be your top tips for people this winter? So I've been speaking to the advisors and the, the first tip they've said to Londoners is don't allow things to get worse before you get advice. If you think you're going to be in problems, get advice now. There's an amazing stat I've been told uh, this morning, which is a third of Londoners uh, are already borrowing or going into credit uh, or you know borrowing from family. Half of those who earn £40,000 are worried about making ends meet this uh, uh, winter and uh, a quarter won't be turning the energy uh, on this winter at all in relation to heating. So the second piece of advice is Google the cost of living hub that we're funding to see what advice and help is available to you at all. And the third thing is, is when you're buying presents, when you go to the till, uh, you'll see signs for credit cards and other things you can borrow on and pay later on. The interest rates are often really high. So again, get advice now about the sort of things you should be doing to get presents this winter rather than paying for a present and then in, in weeks and months to come not being able to make ends meet and get into more arrears. But what advice would you have for people who can't even afford to pay for presents because energy bills are so high? What would you say to them? Well, that's one of the things, one of the reasons why we've got this uh, debt-free bus going around uh, London. It already is the case. People are choosing between heating and uh, eating. It's already the case that people who are renting from housing associations or councils on prepayment meters for the energy aren't even bothering uh, you know, putting more credit on their prepayment meter because they can't afford to do so. So one of the things the advisors have told me is they'll get people come to them with arrears for their water bills, but they won't be coming with arrears for their energy bills. And so the, the advisors are saying, why is that? And the answer is because they're not even turning on their uh, heating. And so it already is bad. We shouldn't think it's not bad already. Uh, you know, inflation's at 11%, food inflation at 12%, rent's gone up by more than 16%, people are already struggling. So when you see somebody sleep, see, sleeping rough in London, that's a consequence of the cost of living uh, crisis. So the other thing we're doing this winter, we've done in previous winters while I've been mayor, is not simply increasing the number of outreach workers in London, but there's a, a, an app called the Street Link app. Download the Street Link app. If you see somebody sleeping rough, please let us know. We'll send an outreach worker out there uh, and get that person off the streets. Are you concerned that crime rates might rise this winter? So the evidence we have is uh, that actually the, the causes of crime are quite complex. And without excusing criminality, one of the causes of crime is deprivation, inequality, poverty, a lack of opportunity. And the evidence is, uh, as the cost of living crisis gets worse, deprivation increases, uh, there's an increase in crime. You can do a map. One map is uh, where the crimes have increased and two is where there's poverty. And there's a link between uh, the increase in crime uh, and, uh, 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 and uh, deprivation. And that's why the government's got to step in. The government's got to step in and deal with the cost of living crisis, deal with the complex causes of uh, crime. Some of this government could do, uh, free school meals for all primary school children. Some of the gov simple thing government could do is the £20 a week uh, universal credit uplift they gave during the pandemic. Simple thing the government could do is don't wait until April to give people the benefits increase of uh, inflation. Give it to them uh, now. These are thin, simple things the government can do to make a difference. But the really important thing in London is a rent freeze. We've seen over the course of the last year, the biggest increase in rents since records began, 16% increase, 
freezing rents in London over the next two years like they've done in Scotland after pressure from labour and charities would make a big difference. What are your thoughts on potentially making like rail fares cheaper to help people? Well in London we froze uh, fares for the first five years when I was mayor made a big difference in relation to poor Londoners using uh, public transport, uh, re leading to people leaving their cars at home. Uh, over the last two years we've had to increase our fares in London uh, because of a, a condition of the COVID deal with the uh, government. I think if we're going to encourage people to leave their cars at home, uh, to walk, cycle, use public transport, we're going to make it cheaper and more affordable. So I'm hoping what we don't see uh, this January is fares going up by inflation plus one because a 12 percent increase in fares is simply unaffordable. You know for people who are struggling an advice bus might not be enough for them so what additional support will you be offering them and where can they go for that help? I'm not pretending uh, that the support from City Hall, the debt-free bus, uh, will fill the massive hole left by government incompetence and uh, government policies. Uh, so from City Hall we're providing Londoners with grants to warm up their homes, insulation, retrofitting their homes, uh, double glazing. Uh, from City Hall we're funding uh, advisors at Citizens Advice Bureaus and, and Law Centres. We're funding the debt-free uh, bus. Uh, there's also a cost of living hub I'd encourage uh, your listeners to go to and the uh, energy advice line as well to support Londoners uh, uh, struggling. What we need though is more powers and resources to be devolved to us. What I want urgently is a rent freeze. What I want urgently is free school meals for all primary school kids. What I want urgently is the benefits increase now rather than April.